Welcome. Welcome to our quick little tutorial on how to record a PowerPoint presentation using your Mac laptop and a package called ScreenFlow. Now, the package ScreenFlow can be found on the icon, icon dock. Go ahead and just click on that to launch it. If it's not on the dock, it can be found in the Applications folder. So we'll get that started. Okay, sometimes it will come up with the welcome menu and then you will want to go to the new recording menu. As you can see, uh, we have the camera enable. You, sh you should uh, enable the video, uh, which uses the camera on the laptop. What you want to do is move around a little bit and figure out how much you can move within the image uh, and still stay within the image. This kind of becomes the bounding box while you're uh, giving your presentation. Also, we are using a lapel mic, which can be seen on my sweater there, and it has a USB uh, uh, interface for it, and the mic plugs into that USB interface. This produces the most reliable and uh, highest quality audio uh, with this conf configuration, rather than using the uh, built-in uh, microphone on the laptop. Once it's plugged in, you'll see it appear in the list. Uh, here are the USB sound device. We'll select that. Uh, then you should see the uh, level adjust as you talk. Uh, if it's not adjusting, then check the microphone. There is an on-off switch on the microphone. Uh, it has you know, battery power, so uh, check that switch or make sure it's plugged in, things like that, if the audio does not appear. Okay. We are now ready to begin recording our uh, presentation. So I'm going to now start uh, ScreenFlow's recording. When it will give you a uh, two second countdown. Uh, and uh, when you get to the end and want to end the recording, you have to remember that you have to do Command uh, uh, Shift 2 to stop the recording. It will remind you that on the screen when, we, when you start. And so you're about to see that. There's the countdown, and then also the reminder to do shift uh, command uh, two to end the recording. Now I shall launch my PowerPoint presentation. Okay, this is a talk I gave a number of years ago on the history of computers, in particular uh, the computers designed by Seymour Cray. Anyway, so um, we'll uh, begin our uh, slideshow. Now, it's important to note here that um, we work with uh, the 4 by 3 ratio when we do our uh, production on NanoHub. And so you would want to see the uh, presentation in this uh, 4 by 3 format with a little bit of black on the left and on the right. So, a uh, typical way to begin a lecture it would be to say, you know, welcome uh, to my course. In this case, it might be TCAD. Uh, this is uh, lecture one or we're in unit uh, one, and this is uh, lecture one of that unit. This gives uh, it, us an idea of what lecture it is, gives a confirmation that it's correct. It helps in a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, reasons to have it well identified in the beginning with closed captioning processes and things like that that go on, so we know we got the right stuff everywhere. Anyway, so with that, we'll move on. Uh, this talk will give you a quick, an overview of uh, the machines designed by Seymour Cray, uh, starting with the early days in ERA and the control data 1604, 6600, 7600, and on through uh, the Cray 3 and 4. Uh, so let's begin. This is just a quick list of some uh, large computer efforts that were going on um, in the early 50s. That continued, and with that we'll begin with the ERA-1103, which I consider to be the first scientific uh, computer. Anyway, so a few quick uh, notes. If you make a mistake while, while presenting, don't worry about it. Just stop and say, OK, and don't stop the record or anything. Just leave the recording going. Just back up to the prior slide. Start with the end of the slide and say, OK, these you have some efforts that were going on in the late 50, in the early 50s, and then move into the 
the slide that you actually want to re-record. This gets you in the right uh, energetic when you enter the slide so it doesn't st sound like you're starting with a uh, fresh recording. Uh, otherwise it'll just sound like you're starting a talk as opposed to in the middle of a talk. And then just carry on with your presentation. That'll work really well. We'll edit it and fix it all uh, in post, as they say. So uh, we have completed our talk. The thing to do now, then, is to then uh, edit, edit, um, uh, terminate the recording. So we do the Shift Command to Command, and then you'll see it appear on the screen there. And there it is. It's been successfully recorded. You'll note that the audio track looks like it has audio indeed. You can give it a quick play if you want. Do shift, uh, you can give it a quick little. Particular uh, computers designed by Seymour Cray. Anyway, so um, we'll uh, begin our. So uh, that kind of all just uh, fine and dandy. So the next thing to do then is to save this file. Um, and I'll ask you for a file name, give it a meaning of a file name, like for example, lecture. 1.1, uh, TCAD, for example, and then uh, save that. With that, that kind of completes our uh, our recording effort. We can close it then. Uh, please copy the recording off onto another computer so that we have a backup of it or onto a memory stick or something of the like, because uh, we don't want to lose those because that means we'll have to uh, redo -re the lecture. Anyway. Uh, good luck recording, and we'll see you on the NanoHub. Thank you.